Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use Nailer's DLL modding kit to modify the files in uh, Subway Surfers. And after you get all the requirements taken care of and download the app and the program, you can go ahead and launch script.bat and uh, choose option number one so we can get extract this, this uh, zap here. Copy and paste it to the place APK here for modding folder. And go ahead and then run to the script.bat. Choose the option number one. And it's going to extract that for us. It'll just do its thing for a while there. Then you want to go to the project folder to see what we got going on here. And here's the, the game that's been extracted and then we're gonna go basically to where it says on the screen we go to that path and install a cracked copy of uh, net reflector here get that installed for us so we can do some things to these files get this taken care of here you can just watch basically what we're doing and follow along Got this open. You can use a, a simple C sharp or MS Core Lib, but be sure to take it all. I'm gonna add these essential add ins from the game. We need to do a couple of things here. We need to activate the search and the reflexal tool so we can modify these values in the game. So pretty simple to follow along visually with what's going on in the video. And once that's taken care of, we've got reflexal and search active. Then we can go ahead and search for some, some key values and stuff throughout the game that we want to modify. And of course you know what they're going to be already. I'm talking money and all kinds of different things in the game that you can change. some of the stuff you can modify in the game. Scores, coin, keys. Use LDCI4 and N32. The value you have should never overpass eight digits. And you want to modify the boolean, like unlock characters, boost active, use LDR.1 to true, and set, or you can set LDR.0 to false. see void function because it's a tutorial. we don't want to get too deep into it because it's just a tutorial for beginners. Don't mess with any of that. And once we finish to modify the values you have to save the file and uh, only as a simply C sharp. We're just doing it for an example. We're just doing it for an example here. But you got to take at least MS Core simply sharp. Now basically we have to recompile this APK. And, uh, if you modify the things that you want, you don't have to modify everything the same way as done here. You can modify just one thing, coins or keys or whatnot. But we're going to start the script up at and select option three and then option two. Take the unsigned APK that's re recompiled on the folder, place APK here for signing folder. You gotta go to the advanced APK tool. And first, we need to install Java, but we'll get there. So, go ahead and install this real quick. 
so we can make sure that the APK tool will work properly, the signing will work properly at this point. So we pay, place that in the unsigned APK folder. And, uh, get Java installed. Go back, put that in there. Okay. Now we're gonna make this a little bigger so we can see here. Select option number four. Make sure there's no spaces in the name of your APK because it won't recognize it. So as you can see here, we had a space. Go ahead and delete that. Bring it back up to Advanced APK Tool. Select Option 4. You'll see them right there, Option Number 1. Of course, uh, yeah. yes is the answer here. Let it go ahead and sign that. So now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and change the name to signed Subway Surfer version. Move it out onto our desktop. And the APK is ready at this point. You can share it and download it with your friends.